It's that time. Surprise package time. Surprise package time. What did order? I don't know. Cause ordered a long time ago. Surprise package time. Surprise package time. Do, 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 do. This. I actually might know what it is. Kind of. Bit of a cheat. Ah, uh, yeah, here it is. This is a sort of little display device. They sell these things for sticking inside of computer cases in order to monitor what the computer does inside. Although, I'm not too sure exactly how it pulls that off. One good way to find out, though, would be to go plug it in. So, let's see what happens when I put this in my computer. But before I do that, let's do this first. <laughs> All right. Let's plug this into my little computer and see what happens. <clears throat> Looks like apparently nothing. This is definitely not some sort of a HDMI over USB monitor. Well, there's some software listed on a form inside. I'll try downloading that and see what the software does. Well, following the instructions that were included with the box, I managed to get the thing up and running. This is, I guess, the default setup is some sort of anime babe and... Well, beyond that, it looks like it actually does show a bunch of information. I guess it's some sort of programmable device that then shows information based on your computer, based on a piece of software running. Software's not very helpful, though, because as you can see, it's in Chinese. Okay, I want to see if I can find some way of making this better. All right, after some tinkering I'm around, I managed to find some English software and change this to something that's kind of, you know, a little more respectably nerdy and a little less anime rapey. <laughs> uh, it uh, shows the real-time stuff from the computer, but in order to make it work, you have to give the app up and running. Uh, here's where I found the English version of this app. I'll put a link in the uh, description. Let's see. The app itself is right here. You have to leave this running all the time because this, I guess, downloads information to the display. Because this display is not an HDMI display. This display is like a separate little computer device that works through USB and the USB just sends the information to it. Probably like an um, Arduino device of some kind. As long as the app is constantly running, you get a nice series of uh, feedback on what your computer's up to. Let's see, it looks like it's running at, what, 40%? Oh no, that's 40% memory usage. I think the CPU usage is a different stat. Of course, this app itself takes up its own processing power. And on my little computer, uh, not my desktop, but a little tiny computer used for other things, it actually uses up an appreciable amount, upwards of 10%, just to relay information back and forth to the uh, tiny monitor. Although I'm guessing if your computer is a decent gaming powerhouse, it's probably more like 2 or 3%. So, if you don't mind a slight uh, CPU draw constantly running, this is pretty neat, and... I got an AliExpress for like uh, 30 bucks for that little tiny display. Here's the little tiny computer that I'm talking about, which is awesome. Um, might have to do a review of that one later. Huh? Anyways, thus ends another amazing episode of Surprise Package Time. Ooh.